today played a little bit more of uh what was it i even forgot <laughs> oh it was it was uh it was dreadnautical it was dreadnautical and i also wanted to do it's been a while i've been saying to myself and saying to other people all the time hey i should get back to doing minis i haven't done a minis one in a while sorry just adjusting this here so, without further ado, we'll get started on more of these Star Wars Legion. Um, I did uh, finish the Stormtroopers on the Starters Pack. I am now actually moving over to doing the Rebel Troopers, which I started on the earlier stream. wasn't very long, just kind of getting the basics down. But with these ones, I want to try and knock out just a couple of them, at least today, like get the basic painting done with it. So, we'll get started on that, and let me start up some synthwave music which i love lately and this synthwave music is copyright free so you don't have to worry about anybody suing us or shutting down the stream or anything of that sort we can just enjoy it enjoy the stream let's get started make sure the volume's decent make sure the ads go through without us hearing anything hey there how's it going waving to you real quick da -da -da. I got my paints all shook up I know it's a little later in the evening but you know what you just gotta sometimes you just gotta paint you know, I was thinking about this all day today so we'll get started okay it's gonna be tough for me to see for a minute let me move you on over here and move it to where you can see stuff and I can see the chat room. Awesome. So yeah, we'll get going on that. Got my water over here for my paint brushes. Get them a little moist so that they can be used. Got gravel over here for my stormies. I have to change out my uh, rags here. Eventually, so I'm sure that music isn't super loud, but enough to where we can hear it and still kind of enjoy it while we're painting on miniatures today or tonight, rather. I'm gonna go ahead and I kind of do at least the two guys. Forgive me, I don't know their species off the bat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do these guys a little bit like the indoor with the uh, green. And I'm using Army War Painters. These are really good paints for miniatures, and they are actually really affordable. So. We'll just be coloring in the basics of like legs and torso tonight. Maybe do some arms as well. We already got the blasters, boots, and uh, heads done of those guys. use something not too big I'll put my hand there for context it's like how much we're actually that's just water there you can kind of see where we're going with that I'll just gently dip it in I usually take it about there don't totally soak the brush no need to do that because you're doing nice thin layers so we'll go ahead and start and go ahead and give them the army green torso or the legs my apologies said the wrong thing already we're just doing down here thin layers nice thin layers never a rush never ever if you're ever painting miniatures what I would recommend is always just take your time never rush never like, I gotta get these painted for the tournament, like, now, and it's like, no, nah, just, just take your time. So we're gonna go ahead, and again, just gentle layers, and you can see he's got a sewn-on 
uh, knee pad on his pants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably do that like a lighter green. Maybe even mixed in with a little brown so it looks like it's like definitely sewn on. And we're just gently brushing against the belt there. You can see that. Now this is going to look really glossy and really intensely green on here. But once it dries it's going to look dope. And we're still just gently brushing against these. And even if you were to hit the knee pad, that'd be fine. You can always just come back over, uh, edit it out, even if you have any of the handy dandy blue cloths like I talked about in my previous videos. Um, those are good for wiping up something fast if you like brushed up against an area where you're like, I didn't want it to do that. It's always fine. Even this part that comes down over the boot, I'm going to go ahead and just paint that the same color. Because again, like the other fatigues on some of my other troops, the when I did the rider on the uh, Rebel Walker, <coughs> the old clone one that they repurposed, um, I liked the idea of him just wearing like the old military fatigues, like they did on Endor in Return of the Jedi. Sorry for the background noise. I got my cooler on. It's a little warm. It was a little warm today. Welcome, viewer. How are you doing today? And we're just going to go ahead and you can see where I kind of just brushed up against the strap there. And going around back here. Go ahead and just gently against that. You can see where we still have a little dot, but just don't be afraid to like go ahead and go over that. So you got that, and there's always going to be those little parts in between. I'll point with the stick right there, just there. Again, no rush. Nice thin coats of paint. Make the minis look great. You know, poet, and I didn't even know it. And we're just going to go nice and easy against that. Dip a little bit of water there. It's looking like it's getting a little globby. Don't want that. Thin coats are always fine. Just fine. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do that. Going over here. And we're going to go over the part of the boot on top there. Because again, somehow the pant part comes down, does that. Goes over the boot, so it kind of gives us a little bit more camouflage on this guy. Hope you're doing well this evening. Or whenever you're watching this. Hope you are always doing well. Did that pretty good. Um, debating on what I might do for the top part in his like very small little. Uh, you can see how his shirt and vest uh, doesn't show much. I'm debating on just going green on that too. Probably do that as well. But just ever so gently going over that. Perfect. And what we're doing is we're trying not to hit anything, any of the straps or anything. But if you do, that's fine because we will come back with uh, black or even brown's fine too to mix up on the straps. Because the cool thing about Rebel Troops is they just slap their gear together. So they use all kinds of different gear, so it's okay if like anything mismatches. They're not too uniform, but they're super cool. 
so it's fine. I'm going to go over the little chest piece part right there. I kind of nicked it, but that's fine. And I'll show you right there. There you go. And I'll just kind of do the touch-ups back here after it dries. Especially when you're doing thin coats, it's going to dry pretty fast too. It's going to look pretty darn good. Do another dip. Just kind of do these little spots here where the gray still kind of showing through a little bit. And that's perfectly fine. see there and I'll do the part closest to the ankle there rinse that off a little bit I'm gonna move my water over here so you can kind of see what I'm doing and every time I'm dipping I'll show you right now you can see that's as much paint as I'm putting at the end of it. Just to kind of do little itty bitty parts. Again, not doing anything major. I'm going to try and get in this part right here. We still see some of the shirt exposed. Shirt or vest, whatever he's wearing. The only thing I got to work on is remembering whose blaster rifle and parts go into which, which is fine. Usually they match pretty well. So you can see we got those little areas right there that you're doing in between. Bam. Now the hardest part not too hard, but right here, just this little area. Again, you're going to want to gently small dip and gently go across the back there. And go ahead and go near the head there. Neck piece. There we go. I think I might do this guy like this and I might mix up and put the other guys like with a brown shirt or something like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that there. And that's just going to kind of, it being a thin coat too, it's just going to kind of get in the cracks and crevices that you want it to. So you don't have to forcefully push the paint around or anything like that. I think we practically got everywhere where we want this green, at least on this one for now. I'll give you a look. Pretty good, huh? Cool. I'll let him dry for a little bit. Set him somewhere where there's not too much gravel. Hopefully nothing gets to him. I'll start on a human here. water and this is my paint thing that I use you can use anything even just like if you just use something like a I've even used a, a paper um, paper plate something cheap and easy just to use something you want to slap on there Again, you kind of have those things that come down over the boot, so that's fine to go ahead and go over that. I'll come back and do the boots later on.
I'm go ahead and cover the pant boot um pockets pockets on the boot on the uh, pants that look pretty good there just again brushing up against that bone belt looking good nothing super crazy just a quick little gentle hit I might even do what I said before on the other one where I was talking about possibly doing like a um, not a darker green but something maybe even like a washed green on the top part like their shirts just like a faded version of like what the top one is so we'll take a look see what we got what we can come up with it's pretty easy you just add a little bit of white to a green you can make it like a different like faded version of that green Especially if you're doing camouflage um, paint schemes on your troops or on your vehicles. I'm gonna go ahead and dip a little bit more. Go right over here. The thing with painting little troops is like you gotta count for all the cracks and crevices. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and do the other rebel troop, the other human. Same thing, the boots, or the uh, pants, rather. Sorry, the fatigues. This one's a little easier. He doesn't have that knee pad that I wanted a different color. So I could just go right over. Nice and easy. I'll turn it around. It's always good to do sections too on your models because when you're going over it, for example, you saw me do the shirt and the pant of the uh, other one, the alien one, and uh, that one I'll let dry, but you always have something you can grab onto, as you can see with my left hand there. Just the dry part you can grab onto, you can do sections, let that dry, especially if you're doing the thin coats of paint, it'll look good. And then you can come back and do the other parts and then assemble it. Honestly, there's a lot of models I see people like assemble like just right off the bat and I'm just like how do you get the other parts if you're like you know the arm is holding over the chest or if it's like doing something where it's like in the way Okay, and we'll get that little spat part right over the mm, That's looking good So 
that off just a little. Hit these little parts over here. Sorry if I'm out of range. And get those parts. And make sure that it is brushing up right against there. We're getting everything. it as you can see there's just a couple of gaps in between but man we got pretty darn close to getting everything I'm down to the little last strip Just rinse off our thing, run, run it through the towels a few times just to make sure we got all the color off. And even if it did kind of go with it, that's fine too. Okay. Mix that up with my brush just a tiny bit. And we'll come over here and do that leather brown pant. And then with him having leather brown pants, what we can do is we can do black on the straps of when he we actually sit down and do um, the detailed parts as far as like his gear goes, things like that. Just something a little bit different, but still in the same color code, I guess. Uh, the contrast against, like, you know, adds a little contrast, but makes it look pretty awesome. Like the darker the darker tones for the cloth for rebels um, a lot of that I take from like you know extended media even stuff like Rogue One I'll just look at pictures of them and be like oh that's a cool setup like right there I like that they'll even add color to it like they'll wear something like a blue or whatever but they'll wear like a darker blue uh, outfit or even like a rebel um, pilot like like even some of their jumpsuits are just they're the same type but they're just a different color and they look really awesome
just keep going over here. I'm loving this music. Synthwave was something I just recently discovered uh, about a year ago. Uh, really good as far as just reminds me of something 80s but like you know like something you would hear in the background of a movie or something like that we're gonna go ahead and get the top part of his uh, thigh there in between the strap and the knee pad and again we're just doing it ever so gently sorry about the shadows if you can't see I will show you right now so as you can see that strap has a little bit of brown paint that's nothing bad again later on when we come back with a really fine detail brush to do the straps it'll go right over that hopefully within the next month or so I can finish these guys up and finish up the terrain I've just really been slacking because getting things ready for the channel um not only doing this here but also doing uh i'm transferring my stuff over to youtube so you'll be able to watch it anytime because this it only holds it for so long which don't get me wrong i love the twitch medium it's super easy to use and i like just doing things for people showing you how i do these minis whatnot oh, i dropped one of my brushes darn it let me kick that over There we go. That's right. Whew. All right. I'm just kind of filling in these little gaps here. You'll get those in models where it's like you didn't quite get the cloth piece or something like that. But you'll be all right. And now that all these guys have their fatigues on. Um, I will actually combine, put some water on that guy and brush it out. I know people are like, oh, you're bending your brush, it's fine. I use something a little bit more. Again, still from War Paint, but it's just from the Zombicide thing. I just never finished my Zombicide minis. Um, but we will do that eventually. I do have the main set painted, and it just was globbed on with a old-fashioned, um, not even miniature paint. It was for models. It was the. I forget. I even forgot. Uh, testers. I had some primer right there of it. Testers primer is great for minis. Their paint, not so much. You have to really thin it down um, to use it. Unfortunately, at the time, I didn't really do that. I just globbed it on, and it looked okay. But you know, again, as you do this hobby, or as you do any hobby, you know, you're just you're learning as you go. So we'll put. shake that up a little bit more because it's not quite coming up. And what I'll do as well, I'm going to clear the jam because I think I got a little bit of paint stuck in there. Now would be a good time to have a toothpick. I'm going to have to buy some toothpicks to jam out my Clear out the channel. Oh, that was a lot of paint that came out. Yeah, because you got it dried up a little bit in the thing. So we've been having some warm spells, unfortunately. So I think it just like all kind of. <laughs> you can see how much got shot out of there, but that's fine. I'll find a use for it right now. Because, 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 because. Mix that. With a little bit of just white so we can make some faded shirts for these guys they're all gonna have probably around the same kind of faded shirt look which is fine just 
give them that look. I might even use it to put some extra lines on their fatigues. And then I'll show you, and then I'll put more of the brown on the other ones to make it look like actual mixed up uh, military fatigues. That Again, I always use the example. They were in Return of the Jedi. Let me mix my paint up. Unfortunately, I have to really dip my brush in there, which is actually a big no-no because you'll get it in the parts where it's not supposed to be. Looking like I'm making guacamole over here, which is fine. And again, you're going to see how much, how deep it got, unfortunately. Wipe that off over here next to the other trooper. Sorry, trooper, if I splatter you with anything. And clean it off with my trusty blue towel that you've seen on there. These are relatively cheap. You can get them at any, um, I usually say hardware store, but I mean like home improvement shop, like go in the paint area. And they got these blue shop towels. Um, they're amazing for hobbies like this. Uh, usually one will last you for like a whole painting session and it's just super absorbent and great for cleanup as you go so a little bit of brown that I missed on this guy so I'm getting that real fast before it dried up and then we'll go back and we'll put on the green and whatnot on there okay so he's looking good so now that I just have this one anyway, I'm going to go ahead and keep going with him. I'm also going to reach over here and turn off my cooler for a minute because it is getting nice and cold in here. And let's go ahead and ever so gently put that first little bit of green on there. Going over here. It's hard with this one because I couldn't really tell if that was a belt or a strap coming across there, so I'm just going to do it anyway because it looks like folding of clothing of the shirt that he's wearing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it at that point. And just keep kind of filling that in and come back and get the backpack straps when I figure out which color I'm gonna do that. Okay, so we have those. And again, it's okay. I'm just going to kind of go over that part. I know this is looking, when it's wet, this is looking more like an atomic green kind of color, but it will be a faded green. It'll probably look pretty dope once it's done. Just ever so gently running it across the neck parts. Make sure that that's colored. I'm going to go to the back part of the shirt. Again, it's okay if we touch, if we hit the uh, backpack or his head or anything, we can come back and fix it. As they say in the show business, fix it in post. Da -da -da. Oh, this one actually has white swirled in it, I didn't like that. <sighs> Need a better mixing brush. Like literally just like a brush that I can use just to mix my paint. Like that would be nice.
Uh, let me go ahead and go back over to that. Rinse it again, and we'll give it another whirl. Also, after you add the white, that's what it's going to look like, too. Kind of has a slimy atomic look, but once it dries... Oh, excuse me. Um, it's going to have a nice faded green look, and that's actually going to look really cool over the other fatigues. Once I come back to those... So I'm just getting the little parts here where we missed and that's looking pretty darn good I'm gonna get right there yeah we'll give you a quick view of his shirt not dried yet but it's looking pretty darn cool so what I'll do do the same for these other couple of troops and again there's a lot of them I'm probably gonna go like dark browns or even like a black shirt maybe here or there just something like they you know was again like I said there are some that I'm like hey I want to do the indoor look and there's other ones where I'm like you know what I want to do that rogue one look Again, we're just getting those parts right in between the backpack and the shoulder blade there. Just ever so slightly brushing that area. You can see the front there. Um, that looks like I might leave it for like a white, like or an off-white t-shirt stripe in between there. Just to kind of like, you know, show that they're layered more. So we'll go ahead and finish this shirt there. And that's what we're looking at. Troops getting closer and closer, getting ready for battle. It's the tyranny of the Empire. And we'll go ahead with the fatigues on the bottom part. What I do is just random stripes here and there random markings go ahead and just do like a quick little stripe nothing major and dip again and what we're doing is we're adding little parts where it's got contrast to it and you can see there this is also the greatest thing about wearing black gloves. You can see that's the beginning of like showing that it's actual like camouflage. And the next one I'm gonna use more of that dark leather brown. I might even add some black to it to make it more like a walnut brown for that. But we'll let that one dry. Put him over by the other guy. There you go, Jazz. Let's hang out for a minute. Okay. Now we got this guy where we left him all green, but I'm going to go ahead and give him a couple more stripes of that. The faded green in his fatigues. I'm even going to hit the parts where I kind of missed, which is fine, in between the legs there. And we see more. Now again, a few spots. Can't quite notice it now. I mean, you can see it against the black gloves and against like the, the drying dark green. And then again, I'll mix another batch of that dark 
round that I want on there. I have a lot of light green, so I'm going to have to probably actually even hit up some backpacks with it. At least the ones that look like cloth backpacks I want a little bit on there. So, we'll go ahead and go here. Yeah, I made way too much of this green. So it's going to have to... There and there, where the smack comes down. I like the design of those pants, man. I'd wear those to work. They were just regular cargo pants. So we'll do one, two, three, and four. Don't want to get too crazy with it, but just enough to kind of show that there's some there. And then in between those I might do... Do one more right there. In between those I might do a little bit more. And also this one, I almost forgot. I'm going to do this shirt. So I'll do this shirt right now. That was a thick glob of paint I don't want. Go ahead and do that. And what I'll do with their arms too right now is I will go ahead because I have them pretty much done. I just have the literally the actual arm part. I'm going to do that in the gloves while they're drying, while their torsos are drying. I'll actually add a little bit of the green camouflage to them as well so that'll look pretty cool and the awesome thing it's going to sound silly the age we live in I'm glad we do where I can actually go to Google or Bing or whatever and um, look up some rebel troops like just pictures of like you know set set designs things like that they did and get some ideas just throw them out there a lot of people do like i've seen like um if you go on instagram there's a lot of people who do it and just do like you can look up by hashtags uh star wars legion uh, a little bit of my work's on there but um you'll see some of them like man people just come up with some really cool color patterns and things like that I just kind of look at the pictures on there and even like other ones where I'm like, you know, I need a little bit of inspiration myself just to kind of get through what I want them to look like or what I want like a Rebel Special Forces to look like just to help out with design. So we're going to put another little dot right there. And once those dry, those are going to look pretty awesome. I'm even going to, on these backpacks, two more dots, because I think what I could do is I could potentially do just that camouflage backpack look, but do the straps like dark brown, like that walnut brown that I was talking about earlier. Okay, and what I think... Hmm. I've yet to think about what I'm going to do for the helmet yet. Because I don't want to just like randomly just do it the same color and then it kind of looks the same. And just. I will definitely do like the dark walnut like around the brim part. And then maybe on the top I'll just do because I have plenty of this green. I'll do that now. Uh, that was kind of a big glob of paint. Didn't mean to do that. That's okay because we could brush it out. So that's looking pretty nice. And you can see right there. 
if it'll focus my there we go and once that dries that'll look pretty good and you can see there's the shirt or at least the vest over the shirt and then you got the other parts so we'll let that one dry as well I'll let this one back just so I can do the helmet real fast do that helmet one more time Yeah, that's looking okay. I'm gonna add some water to this because it's starting to dry up. It feels like you can always feel when your paint's like starting to dry up in the well, like you haven't come fast enough working with it, and you gotta work a little bit faster. It'll be good to go. Yeah, there's another one. Once that dries, that should look pretty darn good. I think I missed a little bit of the shoulder there. Okay, sometimes folds of clothes are a little tricky, but it's all good. And I think I did pretty well on the fatigues. Didn't miss any, whoop, spoke too soon. You can always see like little gaps there, like right there. There. Like, yeah, a little gray showing through. That's like, I always try and get like every little folded area, just so it's not hanging. I got a bunch of gray spots hanging out. It's never good looking. Now, even though I have miniatures out already. And because I have so much green. I mean, actually I'll do the arms. We'll do the arms right now. I'll leave those for a minute. guys we'll do that I'll do another light green because these are for the human ones on the shirt part again we'll just do that you can even hold by the barrel because I did that I did the rifle already and just make sure you get all around the actual arm part that always sucks when you're like, yeah, I did it, and you look under the arm like we're near the elbow and the wrist, and it's just like, you know, gray again, staring at you. Then I'll be like, Carrie, they're all going to laugh at you. Dun, dun, dun. Just kind of keep going on this. Make sure you're getting everything behind it. Everything there. Definitely going to have to key and clean up my workstation here to in the next day or so. Because I'm going to be doing more paint vids, but also... Um... Just a bunch of gravel here from when I did the uh, sand part on the other ones, and just like I was like, man, I didn't realize I had this much stuff splattered everywhere. I guess that's just learning and growing. I'll set you guys over there so you're not glued anything to you, and we'll do the arm set over here for these guys. Next one will be the brown. Actually, I might do a light, the same light green on the other guys. The one who has the brown fatigues, I'm going to leave his arms as uh, as brown too. Just so it like, looks like he's wearing a green shirt with like brown pants and 
Need a little bit of water there. The paint, paint's starting to glob up a little bit. That's not good. Don't be afraid to even move. Just a little bit of like water over the brush if it's globbing on the model itself already. Just to kind of thin it out on the model and then you can wipe it wherever you want it to go. So you can see like there, it is kind of a more of like a wash but it'll still look pretty good once it dries. And if it is that thin, you can just add another thin coat. Easier to add thin coats, harder to like thin out like thick coats that are stuck on there. Okay. Okay, so one more set of these. And then what I'll do for the gloves there too is I'll do the brown slash dark brown um sorry I was out of view brown slash dark brown for the uh gloves for helmet bits things like that and then from there I think I shall retire for the evening and I'll probably do straps off camera or something like that oh, I'm not sure yet So, go ahead and keep going, make sure we get all the way around, nice thin coat, and I will be uploading these to YouTube, if you look for my channel, JBON3EZ01, JBones. Same thing for my Twitch account, which if you're already watching, welcome. Welcome, dear viewer. Thank you for watching my stream. There we go. What do we think? Once it focuses in on them. Any day now. There we go. You kind of see for the most part. There. And again, thin coats. So I think that'll be it for the green there, at least the light green. So we can do like some brown and some dark brown. And then we'll take the rest of the off. Let me switch the music up just a little bit. There was a new one called Oblivion. And readjust in my chair just a little bit. And I'll clean up. Hate to waste this much green paint, but fortunately, that's my fault for not having any toothpicks on hand to fix the little plug up in my thing. That's fine. Definitely clean all that up. Definitely have to remember to grab some towels tomorrow as well. Paper towels are fine too, but personally I like the shop towels. Soup, but that might not work. I'll use matte black 
And it's a tiny, tiny bit of black that I'm adding to this. What I'll do first is actually add brown and get that guy's arms done. And then from there I'll put some black in to get the almond, uh, dark almond brown. So... Here's what I'll show you. And you'll see, adding a little bit of this to this. Well, first let me get those arms done. I almost broke my own promise. So, add just a little bit of water. Tiny dip. There we go. And what I'll do is this guy's arms will be regular brown. And then when I mix up the other one, I'm going to do all their gloves like a dark brown. When I add the black in there, I think I'm going to actually, once I'm done with this set, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not. This is going to sound weird. Um, I've been like weighing in, like if I want to keep this and like actually play uh, Star Wars Legion. Because there are times where I'm just like, I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. Because it's kind of a personal issue for me. Uh, I might actually go back to, I originally bought Kill Team uh, in the Warhammer 40k universe. And I might want to get my 40k team up. And I might even just like keep the um, terrain that I got for this game. Just because it looks similar. It would work fine for it. But we'll see. Heck, I even thought the rebel troops here would look like rebel troops in uh, 40k too, like when uh, some people just go chaotic in the uh, Imperium. I don't know. We'll see again. So we'll go ahead and hit that. Make sure that it is painted all the way around so we got everything. So we're good. And let's let that dry. And here I'll show you. Let me get that brown done. So I'll shake up the black. And I'm just going to add just a tiny, tiny bit. Just that one drop. Maybe another one. That no, should be fine. I even use one of my junk because, like, I didn't like the way it did that to my. I'm gonna use one of my junk, junky, uh, throwaway brushes here just to mix it up. see that it's still a brown, still a dark brown, a nice, like at first glance it looks black, which is like kind of what I was going for, like that really dark brown, like stuff you would see in like old work gloves, things like that, the things I'm about to paint, so we'll just rinse that out, and I'll use that mixing brush for another day. I should probably even put tape around it just so I know that I'm using that for mixing because I always got to remind myself um, what I use something for. It's going to sound weird, but. And so I'll take my older brush, dip it in there. We got those ones. So I'm just going to start doing gloves right now. I 
those again at first glance look like they're black they're not glove part right in between there that came out pretty darn good if I do say so myself okay we got most of that hand I gotta get the little thumb and forefinger on the left arm there good that is a little bit thicker than I wanted on there but once it dries it should look all right I'll just set that aside over here And we'll do more. Ever so slightly just kind of brush it against it. As you see. This one's okay. Let me actually switch to my Neon Metropolis. I hate these ads. Okay, ads, come on. Jeez. All right, sorry about that. Had to get some better tunes. So we'll go ahead. I'll keep going. You can see right there. Bam, bam, go up here to grab this part, the fingers, perfect, I have to come back and redo some of the touch-ups on the rifle too, because there are parts you can see like right there where I kind of missed, but it's actually okay, especially if it's on their gear, because their gear looks a little like worn, so it would be fine if I left it like that, I would even actually give it a little bit of metallic that I have, like a metallic, alum aluminum metallic where it looks like it's been scruffed and scratched on the uh, rifle. So those are looking pretty good. That's it right there. Yeah. yeah. I'll let that go ahead and dry in the next set of hands. Arms, if you will, right to bare arms. Sure that that's good. We'll do the inside of the hand that we gotta do there. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, I did a pretty darn good job if I do say so myself. There we go. You can barely see it, but sorry. Phone doesn't have the greatest. There we go. And now, with this dark brown, I can also do some belts, some parts on the pants like I was saying before. So there, there, there. Just randomly do little bitty bitty 
parts like where it make it look like camouflage. I'll put some there, put some there. Dip. Actually, let me dip a little bit of water on that too. Just to make sure that that's not drying too fast. Because when you make it like that, when you add like the black and the brown, you're kind of making like one little batch at a time. So you don't want it to dry up too fast. Again, I'm just going to kind of go over that. Just kind of dot. There, there. Kind of there, there. Give it a little bit of fade. Bam. Camouflage. And for this gentleman, like I was telling you before, I wanted to do these just specifically for his knee pads. Sort of globs on there, but it's looking pretty good. Again, once it dries, kind of give it that fatigue look. Now I'll do it on the other guy's knee pads too, but also I'm also going to give him some of the green or the brown stripes um, up along there just to give it that fatigue look. this too much. Let's skip that ad. Definitely gonna finish up after I finish up the brown stripes on these guys. So just make sure we're filling in those. Make sure there's no gray parts. Looking pretty good. in a row. I didn't like that. I like them a little bit more random. But that's just me. So we'll do some on the back here. The leg. The bottom part there. One on the butt just for the heck of it. Perfect. He's camouflaged up. Do it for this character here. You don't even have to do stripes, you could do little globs if you wanted to, because that's just the way. If you've ever seen patterns in uh, modern fatigues, that would be just fine. I'm just kind of doing off the old tiger stripe. So it looks like what they were wearing in the movie. At least on some of them. Uh, they were actually, yeah, they had the blogs, I take that back. They had the blotches. That one. Do one more for safe measure. Right there. Perfect. Nothing special to it. As you can see, that's what they'll look like. I'll do a couple stri stripes off of a camera on the straps and doing some details, but you can see where I'm going with these guys. I think even for the scout ones, I might just do like a light brown. But uh, thank you for watching. Give you a big old thumbs up. Thanks for joining me. You all have a great night. See ya.